What's going on guys? I just wanted to break down a quick little blitz I found out of Dime236. Um, this is kind of a fun little defense. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Real fun defense to run. Uh, but again, folks, in this video, we're going to show you a little blitz here. Um, Dime236 is one of those formations that I think has a lot of value, especially in Madden 22. But I do think it's also going to be good in Madden 23. Now this blitz that I'm going to show you um, is a blitz that was really good. I want to say in Madden 17. Um, it's been in Madden for years. Um, but this is one of my favorite blitzes. So let's just jump in the video. If you want to learn, um, you know, all my get all my Madden ebooks, all that stuff, join our Patreon. We got a lot of stuff that we're putting in there. We're actually putting in a blitz library, if you will, where we're putting in different resources so that you can look at whatever formation is that you want to run, whether it be Dime 236, 236 Will, 146, whatever the formation is. Not only are we going to have pretty good ebooks on most of those defenses, but now we're going to have a blitz library that breaks down different types of pressure schemes that you could run against, you know, five out, blocking a running back, blocking a tight end, or Max Pro. So if you want to check that out, the link is down below. But the play is slant zone two. What makes this blitz so good is the it's really just kind of a fluke, not fluke, but it's just kind of an interesting layout. So you're gonna notice that these guys move um, in this blitz. This is part of what makes it go makes it really go. Um, so all I want to do with this, um, if you press, let me just show you what happens. So if I press, you see that I can press. And this dude over here will actually stay where he's at, okay? Um, if I press. And then the other thing that I want to show you real quick is if I take this linebacker, let's say this by user, um, I can use either one of these guys. And then I still have this nickel corner that I can send off the edge. So what I like to do is blitz my linebackers. So I'm just going to re-blitz all my linebackers straight down. And then literally just take my user. I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to QB contain. And as you can see, this is a six-man pressure. Um, we're going to send three, uh, five, and then six, of course. But what it is, we have a loop that's going to come around the left edge. And we got a nice little um, contain concept that's going to come on the right edge. Now, I want you to look real quickly at my user. Notice the gap that the, the game tells me where I want to stand. So you see how the gap is right here, primarily. Like, I'm going to be going to this gap. So I want to stand right here. And then I'm just going to run down and kind of turn my hips, if you will, to the right. One of my favorite things to do from a coverage perspective is to man up the running back and to man up the solo receiver. Uh, it's one of the best adjustments against Bunch this year. And you'll see this blitz just absolutely um, is really, really good um, against a lot of different situations. Now, I want to give you the Madden 20. Um, this, this blitz does work in Madden 23 too, by the way. Um, another thing that you could do with this that I think is really interesting is you can actually, um, because these guys on the outside are linebackers, I could pinch my D-line. As you can see here, I can pitch by D line, and then I can still have the same like concept, even with crashing the line out, to kind of give myself a little bit better of a blitz angle. Now, one other thing that I do want to say real quickly is it's not necessarily wrong to re blitz the slot corner, okay? But really simple setup we're just pressing, um, pinching the line, crashing the line out, global blitz of linebackers, and contain. And what you'll see right here is again we have these loop concepts you got some gap pressure a lot of really cool things that you can do with this now we have a kind of a little bit of a, a more simplified version of the blitz if you will um the more simplified blitz of or version of this blitz would be to pinch your line crash your line out and then what you're going to do is you're going to globally blitz your linebackers so actually you're going to global blitz my linebackers and if i wanted to send a five-man version of this i'm just going to put my slot corner in a vert hook. Now, I personally like to shade my coverage down and then recloud that outside guy. So I got a hard flat on the bunch side. I got a vert hook. It's one of the best coverages in the entire game. I just got to make sure I use it the post route. And then what you see here is now we're just going to get some nice little disengage pressure off of one edge. So you could kind of scheme around this. The slant zone two has kind of a unique little um, vibe to it, at least in my opinion. Um, and like you see here, if I really wanted to get real straightforward, real simple with this, I would literally just call this and stand right here. Now these vert hooks are going to kind of be weird and glitched and not really work perfectly um, because they're not going to the right side, as you can see. So the another little variation of this that I think is really good too is to globally blitz your linebackers and then revert hook your slot corner, make it just super simple like this. And as I, you know, as you can see here, it's just a really good pressure, simple five man edge pressure. Um, or it can be a loop blitz. There's a lot you could do with this. This is one of my favorite defenses uh, in the game. Another thing that you can do 
um, that I personally like is to crash my line uh, down or not down. I'm sorry, but just pinch my line, if you will. And then you see here, just blitz my linebackers. And this is a really good pressure. As you can see, we're getting loop pressure. We're getting edge pressure. Um, there's a lot you could do with this, man. This is, a, this is really a good blitz. Um, if you wanted to run it on baseline, I just want to show you what that looks like. So you see here, if I baseline, they're still going to go down. Um, the problem is if I, if I press my whole defense. However, if I press individually, you'll see they stay out here. So this is just another little advanced tip with this. Again, this is one of my favorite defenses. Um, I think there's a lot more potential for this to be really, really good in Madden 23 because this formation can't get weak boxed. It has all of the tools that you need to be successful. It's got great pass rush. It's got great pressure. It's got great uh, run shoots. Let me give you just a quick example of a run shoot here. So if I pinch my D line, kind of back to that basic blitz, this is essentially a too high version. It's one of my, like I said, um, and then I can just shoot right down here and, and try to basically bullet run up. Now, again, I, I totally failed, but I can, I can shoot in and stop the run. Trust me. Um, if they really want to run the ball, I can do this. Um, another thing I could do out of this is I could show blitz. I could keep my default alignment, show blitz. Now this is going to change a little bit, uh, just in terms of how this is going to work. Cause you see now this guy's going to blitz from depth. I don't like that. So I'm going to, you know, kind of make some adjustments coverage wise to this, but now you'll see again, this loop concept is just you know pretty decent um it's kind of similar to bucks land three uh which we've been talking about all year but again i just can't stress enough the how good of a defense this can be if you want to run it like this or um if you don't if you don't want to run it like this let this guy come down and then uh whoops i'm sorry I forgot i had auto flip on but um let this guy come down like this and then just send a simple edge pressure i mean this is pretty good uh edge pressure and you can have a base look that looks just like this. Now from here, I could do all kinds of stuff. This uh, The other real interesting thing about this formation is I have one of the best coverages in the game and I could take this guy over here on the left and they may think he's, I'm gonna send him, but now I'm gonna put him in a middle third. And now my coverage is really good um, from this defense. And as you can see, this just, like I said, this, this defense is really good. It's got a lot of potential in Madden 23. It was a good defense this year. I think it's gonna be a great defense next year. So if you wanna learn more about this, how to run all these stuff, I'd really recommend getting into Patreon. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna be dropping that's really good for blitzing um, and defense in general, just teaching you why different concepts works year over year. What are the core concepts of blitzing? And then how can we create those concepts out of the formations that we like to run? Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get in the Patreon, learn all that stuff, link is in the description.